hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel it's been a minute and i am back i keep saying i'm back man i have to tell you consistency is not a cup of tea and it can be or should i say it's not a cup of coffee because i'm a coffee person <laughs> anyway um how have you been guys you know how important it is for us to figure out how people have been it is so amazing to be back of course um imekwa it's been a bumpy ride if i do say so myself um but besides everything else i'm really happy to be here and as the title of the video goes you already know what we want to talk about and this is inspired by um it's inspired by what will i say the things and the events that have been happening in my life because where child business has been doing the most hmm? business has been doing the most for me and i guess i'm just gonna dive right into the vid uh, into the video and start so point number one is um things i wish i'd known before i started my business is that i should keep records at all times bro if you're doing business and you have no ledgers or records or balance sheets or whatever of your business you have no records at all bro business gani unafanya because you know this i realized that when you have when you can when you have a record of uh the things your expenses and your income it gives you a picture of the kind of business you're doing that you'll be able to know whether you're making losses or profits you know what i mean and at the end of the day all we want to do is to make profits when you are a business you want to maximize on the profit so it's very important for you to keep your records and make sure that you are able to to you know explain the records as it is okay it is so important to keep your records another thing is just like a, a sub point of being able to put your i mean to to write your records is that you should be able to explain your records and um differentiate your records from how will i say it is that you okay don't be don't mix your business money like your business money is your business money and your personal use money is your personal use money and in this case if your business is less than six months you're obviously looking to expand you're obviously looking to scale your business and if you're not careful and uh you're not keeping your records then you you won't be able to scale your business and you will not be able to give a record of exactly what's money or the amount of money you're making in a month so it's really important for you to keep records well this i used to see my mom do and i have to say that if you're a serious business owner you have to keep records like <sighs> i struggled in the beginning but now we've gotten a hang of it and it's so important for you to be able to keep your records if you're a business owner have a book have a book buy uh, this uh four choir books right your whatever so if you want to fill the data in your phone get an excel sheet write your expenses your monthly expenses how much you're paying for rent how much you're paying for your utility bills it's very important as this helps you figure out the amount of money you're making monthly weekly or half a year or quarterly or you know annually and this will give you a bigger picture so that even when you're going to maybe ask for a loan you have something to show for it you're not like oh i'm a business owner i run a bnp but um i don't have records whatsoever then you won't even be eligible for that kind of loan and that kind of thing so keeping your records in your business is very important okay and then the other thing i've learned i wish i'd known is that not every day is christmas if you are a business owner yay you know the things your business can do today you've sold umeuza where if you sell clothes umeuza go you've sold like almost 10 dresses or even more today and then tomorrow comes no inquiries no likes no like if you run an instagram page or you your business is on social media no likes no comments no engagement and you start to feel like eh, i don't think i should do this i don't think business is my thing cg what 
I know for sure that every day is not Christmas because there is a month I've made a ton of money. And there is another one that I have struggled. Jesus. There's another one that I've struggled. And I'm like, oh my God. I swear to God, I, I did not sign up for this. I did not sign up for this. I want to quit. I want to quit. I want to quit. And when I was younger, that was my problem. You know, I used to think that every day should be Christmas. So there's this one time I used to sell like... Uh, men's clothes like pants tops boxers that kind of thing so i used so when when a new stock came in nearly kwana na advertise i go on facebook i take nice photos i share i go to post dms i tell them i sell this i'm sharing in groups i'm sharing i don't know where yani i'm sharing across the board that increases my sales for that particular day when the new stock has arrived come the next day see me i'm thinking that it should be the same because i did i put in like a little effort i told people about my business nini, 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 without knowing that i need to be consistent that is something that should be like your daily bread that is something that should be doing daily you know what i mean so when i say that not every day is christmas is that as a business owner you're not going to earn money daily well you can i mean there is that possibility if you're an established business but if you're a startup man you need to put in a lot more work you need to do a ton of marketing you need to do a ton of uh communication networking like there is so much you need to do as a young business rather as an sme because man business is well i'm telling you business is for your character development but hey um we live we learn Cindy. Yeah, so just know that when you're starting a business not every day will be christmas not every day you will be happy about the sales you've made but you have to move regardless you know what i mean yeah so the other point is uh the other thing i should have known before i started my business is that if i do not have structures and models of operations uh if i do not have structures and models of operations my business is fucked this is to mean for example i am into the bnb business so if i do not like for example um okay well right uh, i had traveled to to shags this weekend okay and if i didn't have a structure of how my business was gonna operate then it wouldn't have run in my absence so you need to put up structures for example i have put uh if if i'm not away there is someone in charge of my business there is someone who's gonna tell me who's gonna put clients in my house uh there is someone who's gonna take care of the cleaning there is someone who's gonna do the shit like these are structures that are going to help you run your business in absentia. In absentia. So basically, putting up business, uh, put, putting up structures, they help you when you're not there. Because not all the time you're going to be present for your business. And business requires you to be present. Killer sequel. Especially if it's a small business. At least as it progresses and it grows older, you're able to put up structures. You're able to establish, oh, I know this person is capable of doing this. This other one is capable of doing this and then you'll be able i'm um, actually all i'm talking about here is delegation sometimes delegate because you will not always be present for your business and this is one way that is going to help you scale your business if you work hard towards um putting a uh, sustainable structures because not always that you're going to be there. i feel like i'm repeating my point but you get my point right you need structure so that your business can run successfully yeah Okay, so the other thing is uh, business has seasons. I think this, this point just matches the other one for not every day is Christmas. Because um, business has seasons. Like for example, ours, like the BNB business right now, it's at its peak. You know, this is when we're getting inquiries from people from abroad who want to come. You know, there's some abanis and the likes. Those who want to come to Nairobi for a vacation and maybe the the yeah yeah basically so business has seasons and just to link this to point number two not every day is christmas or is it point number three yeah that it's not every day that is christmas and and business has its high and low season 
so when it's low you still have to keep going you still have to remain consistent you still have to keep marketing you still have to go to people's dms you still have to post in the groups that you're in you still have to do it it does not matter whether you're getting clients or not it's the consistency that helps you scale your business and even get more sales so if you're a business owner note that i mean if you are looking to start a business note that and then another thing is that networking is the heart of a business and i put uh, another point referrals why i'm saying networking is the is the heart of a business it's because if you're if you go to a network because for example right now my business is a little over a year like i've said and most of my business most of the business that i've gotten is out of referrals so i'm just imagining had i sat among people and be like um, i'm a business owner but i don't tell them what kind of business i do then they will not be able to refer people to me and trust me there is a month that my business fully and solely survived on referrals so there is power in referrals and it's so satisfying because that also means a lot for your business in terms of um the experience that you offer your customers you know what i mean because it's the experience that will make someone refer you to someone else and it's so important because many other times that if you're not present for your business you just leave uh leave things hanging or something of that sort but what i'm saying is your business is thriving when you get referrals you know what i mean because i mean imagine imagine a world where you don't get return clients and return clients are the best because you see their phone calling and like oh my god this is so good it warms your heart and it keeps you going and it encourages your heart as a business person so be careful how you treat your customers be careful the kind of experience you offer and the effectiveness that your brand offers and the um, efficiency and how efficient it is for your customers those are the three things that should you should really focus customer on customer is king customer is king means that your customer is always right it doesn't matter whether you think you've done your business right it doesn't matter whether you think you've offered the service right it does not matter your customer is king if they say the towels are dirty they are dirty even though you can't see uchafu just know ni chafu. If someone says that you did uh, the polish, the buyer, it's crooked, it's what? It's crooked and you need to fix that. So you need to treat your customers with so much respect and so much love. Well, there are those times I used to don't play. When I was just... I used to... I used to don't, to don't play that part. I used to feel like... Uh, this client is just stubborn and that starts to affect you to affect your business in a very slow way especially if someone referred you referred you to that client and then you fill them in that way trust me they never give you another client they'll be like hey if this person is operating like this i cannot be able to give them another client so it's very important for you to understand that customer is king okay because previously i've been treating my clients as though they are not that important okay and i'm like oh and so okay okay and then the other thing i learned is that just check on them check on them that simple text of hi how are you doing this is diana i hosted you at such and such a place i hope you had a beautiful experience welcome back that that after sales service is the best like it's it just scales your business for some reason it just scales your business because even even with technology and everything i've realized that humans still want contact you know what i mean they still want they still want you to to make them feel home to make them feel wanted you know all we want in this world i had someone say that all we want in this world is to be validated and if you can be able to validate your customers it doesn't matter whatever kind of business you do just tell them thank you tell them we are sorry tell them we appreciate you send them a christmas card 
that kind of thing warms their heart and they will never forget you remember we're going back to experience so if you don't offer like an amazing experience for your product then your client doesn't see value for it okay so just know that customer is king man customer is king and without them you wouldn't be running a business so yeah I'm, I'm telling you this i i sound like i know it all but trust me i've had i've had to learn the 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 hard way it it was crazy it had been crazy but i'm so glad i mean it's i it's taken the good loan i have to say okay the other thing is specialization is the only way you will thrive in business case in point i want to give an example here yeah, nancy mwai nancy mwai was a youtuber before she started her clothes line and she used to Mm, she used to post amazing content stylish content lifestyle content and it was really amazing and one time someone asked her i think it was a q and a she asked someone asked her do you think you'll ever go back to youtube and she was like no that's it for me and in my head i was like how in the world can this woman say they don't want to do youtube anymore yet this is when youtube is actually starting to pay off you know or it's actually paying off as it is and later on i came to discover that you cannot be a master of everything you have to be a master of something so that one thing that you learn and you run with it is what is going to make you a billionaire trillionaire or whatever it is that you would like and then from there on is when you try to um to diversify your income or your investments whatsoever so you need to specialize so for me i had been struggling because my business is like a year and a couple of months old and i was struggling with youtube because i am now starting i was starting my business and what do i want to shoot so a bit kuna a bit of push, push and pull so these lessons i had to learn i have to put up structures so that i can be able to do youtube as well you know so specialization is very important just focus on that one thing that you're good at and run with it i will tell you for a fact my mom is uh is into agri business and i've seen what specialization has done to her she has farmed nothing for the past 12 years nothing but tomatoes like all the time like that's that's her business so it's been that for the last 12 years and i want you to know that it scaled her business everybody knows that that's what she does it's given a good name for her because she learned the fruit i mean the horticulture that fruit like she learned it and she's able to to like she's specialized she's like qualified to actually run a farm that is that has a whole plantation of tomatoes you know what i mean so specialization is really important because that helps you remain consistent okay and if you're not specialized then you 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 can't be a master of everything i hope you get my point yeah you cannot be a master of everything so if you can be consistent in that one thing that will help you bloom um also to give another case study is myself i used to sell clothes and then i stopped selling clothes i saw and then i went to shoes nikauza for two months and i'm like ah that is many chokesha nikazi mingi kuendea siju wapi na wapi oh and then i started making some crochet stuff and then i'm like i easy hata sijauza hata kitu so i was in the in the in the selling of these many things i think i was also trying to find myself and what will really work for me also don't be scared of starting don't be scared of starting whatever it is try fail and then learn from there try fail and then learn from there and then moving forward you will become a master of that which that will work for you business you don't wake up and decide and and now it starts blooming no it's not always like that so you have to really be patient with with yourself as well because man business can you know business character development what in the world did i get myself into so my point is specialization will help you scale your business come on uzanguo stick to that uzanguo 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 and that's what will make you rich because you will learn every aspect utajua fabric gani ndo inaenda sana utajua 
what kind of clothes your your nini your customers like yani that will will boost you so much there is just something about specialization okay yeah so just be a master of that one thing and run with it okay fantastic so close to the last point so the other thing is that the other thing i wish i'd known before i started my business is that you have to keep moving you have to keep improving yourself and your business way um i will i, I like nancy Mwai. i admire her a lot and if i'm being honest she's one of the people that are that i would i would really like to learn from business wise she started short new level just the other day not so long ago you know, I'm, I mean, even even Nani, even Murugi, world world by Murugi. But but to me, it's Nancy. It's Nancy for me that she she started um, her shop, uh, Akanza Kuza, online on Instagram before she got like a store at Marisabit Plaza. And I've seen her grow. I've seen how much she's grown. I've seen how much her business is blooming and that's that's the goal man that's the goal she encourages me a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot and i was watching a video on youtube on engage it was this channel engage Strikama, any of you has seen this engage videos where people give accounts of their stories and that kind of thing and what actually it was like a story about Sentonomi and what Sentonomi has done for her and how she learned, you know. And you have to keep improving yourself for the sake of your business. I think the point should have been you have to keep improving yourself for the sake of business. So go to those Sentonomi classes. Personally, I haven't gone to them. I haven't gone for them, but I'm looking to go there. And besides besides those centronomy classes there are classes that will help you as a business owner be a better person so right now i'm i'm doing courses about uh brand management and i want to i love marketing and i think that's one thing i need to be a master of and that's what i want to work hard on and right now i'm on coursera and i'm trying to do as many free courses as i can so right now i'm running about brand management because even for youtube i want to be like i want to be the best brand i want to to represent myself in the best way possible plus i want to be differentiated for the things that i do you know what i mean it's so beautiful for you to 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 gain this knowledge and use it in your business and coursera is offering really nice courses that are going to help you scale your business that are also going to help you become a better brand are going to help you become a better business owner you know what i mean so improve yourself for the sake of your business so that you don't look like a stupid person so like it, it is it is so important for you to just improve yourself for the sake of your business because then you will learn bookkeeping you will learn brand management you will learn marketing you will learn what you need to do for your brand how to grow your business and that kind of thing so um i think if you i mean it just goes without saying just like the way you do personal development that you you read books to become a better person to improve your brain and become a better person for yourself and the people around you it's the same thing for business don't start a business a level <clears throat> personally i didn't go to school for business i went to school for communication so that tells you atani kifanya biashara anafanya biashara kimalengelenge you know what i mean so if i do not acquire skills about business then how then do i expect to run a business you know what i mean yeah so point is just improve yourself for the sake of your business and that means going back to school learn go to youtube learn uh, go to coursera take those free online classes go to centonomy pay for that let them teach you about pricing let them teach you about how to manage your business let them teach you about accounting and bookkeeping and such and such and such you know yeah so the other thing is that sale is sales is the heartbeat of any business no sales no business that goes without saying if you're not because sales is like the the holy grail you know what i mean if you do not uh make a sale it means that your business is not moving anywhere so that means that if you're not taking care of your customers then you don't get sales so all these points work hand in hand and i want to encourage you if you want to be a business owner please 
don't don't nini don't shy yo it's a risk i mean in this life all we do is risk try out a business if it fails don't give up learn from it start another one i mean i told you how i started doing business and that kind of thing and it was tough but i'm so grateful that i've gotten here so far and there are so many lessons i can learn from the things that um that I wish I'd known, but I am so grateful because now I'm a better business owner. Now I can do better and I can be better. So I hope those points helped you. If you're looking to start a business, leave me a comment. If you already have a business, tell me the things that have been working for you because I would like to engage with you and I would like to also learn from you, okay? Point out, tell me something else, something you wish you'd known as a business owner. And through that, we are going to grow together. And as usual, it's me. So like your, um, and as usual, we, we are going to unlearn the things that we think were important and you know the cost of this channel you know the goal you know the mission for this channel is to learn relearn and unlearn that's the whole point it doesn't matter whether it's business whether it's life uh, lessons whether it's uh, things to do with matter spiritually i mean spiritual anything and everything we are here to learn so let me learn from you as well leave me a comment tell me what you've learned as a business owner and the things that are working out for you thank you so much for watching this video it's always fun just being here talking to you and just you know sharing some knowledge and things that are practical the tools that are going to help you learn a lot more in this life because all we're doing is learning because if you do not learn then you're not growing i mean if you do not grow if you do not learn then you're not growing and who does not want to grow each and every day is a different day and you need to learn new things so that you can be a better person for yourself and those around you thank you so much for being here i love you guys uh please like share and comment and share this information with someone who is looking to start a business or already has a business okay so i have to love you and leave you uh, enjoy your, your afternoon, enjoy your morning, enjoy your evening, whatever time you're watching this. I love you so much. I'm going to see you in the next video. Mwah!